Here it is, City Skylines. The hype train has arrived at its final destination. It's here. Right, let's take a quick look at these op uh, options before we jump in. I want to get in and start playing this, so this is going to be about two seconds. You can continue an old game. You can start a new game. You can load a save game. Uh, tools. This is just the map editor and the, uh, and the asset editor. These are the modding tools. The content manager. Here you can get stuff from the, the Steam Workshop um, and add mods and assets. And you've also got save games and maps that you can. And there's going to be a lot of maps, guys. The, uh, seriously, there's going to be millions and millions of maps coming along. Uh, options. Not a lot to mention in here. Although I would really advise you that you drop the tilt shift down. The game's actually quite blurry with the tilt shift on. I. I I've switched that off like straight away. Other than that, yeah, I mean, you can remap keys and all the usual stuff that you can do. I'm not going to go into that. I want to play. So we're going to jump straight in. A new game. Oh, yeah. So we start off. These are the maps that come with um, at least this version of the game. And this is a preview copy that all the YouTubers have got. This is not the final version. It is still being polished. When the game was sent to us, we were told... Um, the game is still being polished. Windows, Mac, and Linux, all versions are being polished. So, what map am I going to pick? Well, we've got Green Plains. Now, this is the one that you've seen a lot of, because this is the one that the, the, the devs have been working on mainly. And then you've got River Run and Black Woods. They're all kind of similar. Uh, islands, that's a bit broken up into little islands. That's quite an interesting map. I'd like to, like to play with that sometime. Um, Shady Strands, Two Rivers, Sandy Beach. Look at those golden sandy beaches. Diamond Coast and Lagoon Shore. I've got to admit, I was very tempted to go with something like this, but I've decided to go with Diamond Coast, and there's a reason for that. And a clue to that is going to be in the name of this city. Oh yes, it's going to be Esterford. The people who haven't um, seen my Banished series won't follow this, but the people who have, oh, <laughs> you're going to get some of this. Oh yeah. Now... This over here tells you how much natural, how much of the natural resources you've got on this map. Kind of obvious. How much water's on the map. One thing that really is worth paying attention to is these outside connections, right? Because I originally started playing on two rivers, and it's got no outside ship connection. So when I wanted to build harbors, it was like, oh, you can't. So just pay attention to that. Diamond Coast is the one we're going to go with. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, here's our left-side traffic option. Um, we can decide whether we want left-sided traffic or right-sided traffic, depending on whether you're crazy or whether you're sensible. <laughs> We're going to go with the crazy version. All the Americans and all the Continentals, there's, oh, there's so many more of them. We have to give in eventually, you know. So uh, we're, we're going to be using right-sided traffic. Let's do it. And so it begins. And we start the game with a little friendly hello pop-up. Let me pause the game. You'll see this uh, green progress bar going across the bottom. This is um, each one. Each time it goes across, that's one day. Let's just pause that for now. Right, so hello. Uh, let's start by building some roads and zoning the areas next to them. In a city builder? How novel. Um, <laughs> buildings will spawn uh, to the zoned areas and you'll unlock new city services and buildings as your city grows. Oh, it sounds exciting, doesn't it? For help, click on the question mark button. It will provide you with information regarding the menu or view you have open. And I've got to say, this, um, this little context-sensitive uh, uh, advisor is pretty good. For pretty good. Now, a lot of you uh, were complaining about the chirper saying, oh, it's going to be really intrusive and it's going to be a pain. You know what? Actually, it isn't. You know what it is? These pop-ups, look at this. Now, now, this is the build roads pop-up telling me to, to build roads and how to do it. We're going to get that more than once. Trust me. The, the, these And they pop up in the most inconvenient places, let me tell you. Right, let's, let's get on. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say, I absolutely love this game. I really love this game. I'm going to be a big supporter of this game. But is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. And where there are things which I think are not quite perfect, I'm going to point them out. Like I always do. But um, if you hear me like, criticise something... And I'll probably be quite quite vocal about the criticisms. Don't don't think, oh my god, he's, he's he's hating on the game. No, I love the game overall. But if there are little things I don't like, I'm going to say so. Right, we're going to do um, a little bit of a Manhattan-y kind of thing um, because we've got this kind of like bit that runs down here. And I'm thinking we do like a, a financial district down here, and up here we're going to have like a midtown area, and then um, we're going to have like uh, residential boroughs uh, boroughs outside, and I'll probably do some mining over here or something but oh it's gonna be hard oh, it's gonna be a mess it's gonna be a mess and there's gonna be a backstory uh, i'm gonna be telling you all about indiana esterford and his archaeological adventures 
<laughs> and it's actually him. He's a billionaire. And um, he's bought this plot of land because he's going to go excavating for the old remains of Esterford. And uh, why do I think this is where Esterford used to be? If you look at this, and this is for people who watch my Banished series, um, yeah, imagine you've got the, the, the this is the, the river, the river crack coming down here. And, uh, and it used to go over here, but things have changed. Geology, this was hundreds of years ago, Westerford. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get, let's get building. Right, we're going to start up here. Now, I want to illustrate just how much this game is about progression. This is a game as well as just a pure city builder. And it's all about unlocking things as you go through. So, roads is a perfect illustration of this. When you start, you've only got a two-lane road. Like, uh, one-way roads, you haven't unlocked yet. And you have to unlock them. And you guys, some of you guys will be going, oh my god, oh my god. Well, don't worry. First of all, you can always unlock them with the unlock mod if you want. Right? If you just want to be in free build mode, you can do that. Um, but um, it's really easy to unlock this stuff. So, for example, in order to unlock the two-lane one-way road, all you have to do is build a two-lane road. Right? Now, if we look at the other road types, see this build roads thing has popped up again. Go away! quite irritating that uh, we don't have any medium roads or large roads or highways or anything but don't worry you unlock them really quick I'm gonna start off by putting a little um, roundabout in here um, because these highway ramps are one way okay and it, it really sucks connecting a two-way uh, road to, to one ways I think so I'm gonna start off with a little roundabout so I'm gonna start off about yeah, about here now, um, SimCity users will be trying to press the shift key at this point to get this to snap to the horizontal or to the vertical, and you can't. It, the, there's, there's no kind of snap feature like that, so you just got to kind of judge it yourself. Now, I'm going to have this, uh, I'm going to start a little bit further down actually, and I'm going to come up about, yeah, about 320. Yeah, about 320. I don't want it lined up just in between those guys. Right. Cool. Right, and the way you do it, uh, you, you, you left click to start and left click to end. And when you're doing a curved road, you left click to start, then you put like a, a midpoint for the curve, left click again, and then left click to, uh, to put in the, the final road. You'll see. Right, so um, what was that? What was that? That was uh, 320. So I want to come out 320 this way. Right, and then I want to come out 320 this way. And 320 this way. And you'll see that the perspective, like that looks a lot shorter. That this road looks shorter than these, but if you um, if you actually put the angle up, it is it is right. So it's just it's just the perspective that's um, a bit weird. Right. So actually, I'm going to put this up while I put these um, put these roads in. Now, because we're using crazy crazy American and continental uh, right sided roads, I uh, I need to put this road in correctly. So now that I've put these two way roads, look. Now I've got my unlocks for uh, the two lane one way road and the gravel road, but I've also unlocked uh, two way four lane roads and um, yeah, look there's no one way four lane roads there's one way six lane roads and one way two lane roads but um, but no four one way I don't know. whether that'll be in the final game remember this is a preview version I don't know uh, we still haven't unlocked our highways yet but we have unlocked a small roundabout there's one that comes with the game right but um, I prefer putting my own in. Oh, and right-click, by the way. Right-click will rotate these, which I found out eventually. Uh, you know how you normally expect right-click to get rid of things? So, like, if you select a road and then you want to get rid of that, that you right-click, it doesn't work in this game. It's actually quite annoying. Um, but it's what it is. That's the controls. Get used to them. Let's put this blooming roundabout in. Stop yakking. Build stuff. So, we're going to get a one-way road, and I'm going to switch to the curve tool. And I'm going to come out here mid midpoint bring it down here boom right same thing bring it down here midpoint boom round here midpoint boom and there we go right that's that get rid of the uh, middle bits boom 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 and we've got a nice roundabout now some people say it's not a roundabout it's a circle road <sighs> yeah whatever <laughs> get over it right so now we've un because we've unlocked our one way roads we can now hook this up properly boom and come over here, line this up as best I can. Boom! Right, excellent. And you'll see that we've got our traffic flow indicators. Now, are these perfect intersections for a roundabout? No, 
because the, the roundabout should have continuous traffic flow and then these other roads should feed in and it puts these intersections in they're not traffic lights they are just give ways but this shouldn't be a give way on this side yeah but you know what it's it's a it's a simulation it's not gonna be absolutely perfect in every way guys right how are we gonna get this um city laid out well what i'm going to do is i'm going to put um, kind of a road that's eventually going to be this, this is probably going to be broadway and it's going to come down here but what i want to do is i want a nice ellipse in the middle so i'm going to bring this down to about there yeah about there oh man and if i use the straight tool it'd be so much easier i'm going to bring this down to about yeah about there yeah cool and then i'm going to put a little marker just a little marker because I want to measure this out. So I'm going to have this about 1600. Uh, yeah, 1600. And then I'm going to go out like 800 on each side. And I'm going to use this to create an ellipse. So 800 on that side. And then 1600 down here. Boom. Right. Then switch to my curve tool. Now I'm just going to put the top part in. Boom. Because... One, one thing that you're really going to have to watch when you start this game, wh when you start a city, is um, your money. You start off with 70,000 euros. Okay? Euros. All th that's going to confuse the Americans. They'll be like, what? What? They're not European dollars? Um, you only start with 70,000. And we've already used like 15,000. Just put it in that little bit of road you don't start with a lot of cash so you've got to be very 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 careful right we're gonna go back to our two-way now over here we've got some forest okay so we're gonna do some uh, some forestry over here but you have to start off as uh, normal industry until you've unlocked your specialities so all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put in a road across here kinda I'm just gonna leave enough of a gap so that we can uh, we can zone Kind of up to the edges. Now this is going to be a temporary thing. Um, let's switch back to. See, I've reached. I've got another one of these pop-ups that's in the way of where I want to go away. <laughs> they, they always seem to pop up exactly where you want to be doing something. It is quite annoying. Now, <clears throat> first number for you to remember, guys, 400. Right? You can also remember because it's the same as this um, this line. See that line? This blue line that's going out across there. Yeah, come up to this first blue line, boom. That'll give you a perfect optimized grid layout, right? So over to here, link that up, right? Perfect, right? Now I'm going to put in, uh, am I going to put in a second one? Yeah, I'm going to put in a second one. So, boom, I should be able to afford this. Boom, and boom, cool, done. And we've un now unlocked our economy panel. So this is, go away. Um, we can now look at our economy. And you'll see uh, this is our budget, this is all of our uh, expenses, and we've got slider bars where you can increase or decrease the budget, which affects the efficiency of these. We'll talk more about this as we go along. Um, right now, everything's zero. We've got no expenses, we've got no income. Um, but that's actually not true. Even though Rhodes is showing a zero, once we actually, uh, once we actually set this running, we will start to have charges for uh, maintaining our roads. Everything costs money in this game. Right, we're already down to 48,000 euros. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is tight. Don't build too much at the beginning, guys. I, I can't say that enough. Right, we want to hook this up um, to these uh, to, to, to the highways. It's important to give your industry uh, access, good highway access. So what we're going to do, because they get all the heavy traffic, all the delivery trucks and stuff, so I'm going to run this like across here, and then I'm going to switch to my curve tool, and I'm just going to put a little curve on this, I think. There we go. Just so that it looks nice. So we can see this is a one-way feeding into this um, into this highway. Now, the traffic coming into the city is going to come in here, go around the roundabout, and then I'm going to bring it out from here, just straight over to there. Boom. And again, that's one way. So now I've got uh, a traffic flow into my industry and then out, which will work kind of nicely. I happen to know, because I have, have actually practiced. I don't just throw this together, guys. I have actually practiced this. Right. 
So now we can do some zoning. Oh, yes, we can. But we've only got access to low density zones at the beginning. We have to increase our population and unlock the other types, which are high density residential, high density commercial and offices. And offices are very cool. We'll talk a lot more about offices as we go through. Now, when you're zoning, because of the way electricity works, and I'll show you this uh, when we put electricity in, you want to be careful how you zone. Um, start off with like, you know, actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zone some commercial in the center here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to zone a little bit of commercial at the top. Like this, not too much. And then I'm going to zone some residential over here. Again, not too much. Yep, that's pretty much what I want. I might come down a little bit further. There we go. Um, you'll see, you will see why. Trust me, you'll see why. And the same with industrial. Industrial, I'm just going to zone a bit like here. Okay, cool. So, the ratio. What's the ratio of um, residential to commercial to industrial? Well, when you start, it's about something like eight residential to one commercial to two industrial. It's about eight to one to two. But that changes as buildings level up. Um, the, the, the number of people living there changes, the number of people working there changes. As, um, as you go to different densities, it changes. I love the mechanics of this game. This is, this, it's not very, very formulaic. It's not like you go, okay, it's this, 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 that's what you do, and you just zone it up like this, and boom, away you go. Oh no, it changes throughout the game. And also, as we start to upgrade, upgrade roads, you'll see that um, that affects these zones. We'll talk more about that as we go along. Right, let's take this off pause and get some people moving into our city. Right, let's speed this up and get some buildings being built. So here we go. We've got our first buildings starting to arrive. And we won't have any uh, any commercial or industrial until we've got some residents. Okay, so it's all residential demand at the moment. But they'll soon want jobs. Right, and there we go. I'm just going to pause it. You can see just down, oh, you can see just down here, we're getting little bits of demand for commercial and for industrial. So now we should start to see buildings spawning in this area and this area over here. Right, so let's take it off pause and let's see if that actually happens. Now these people are all complaining because they haven't got water and they haven't got electricity. Right now, that's okay. I'm going to zone in some more residential down here. Right, and here we go. We're starting to get some commercial buildings and we're starting to get some industrial buildings over here. Now, the reason that I wanted... I'm going to pause the game again. The reason I wanted to get these buildings filling in the way they are, this is going to be a really good example, is because of electricity. Let's put in some electricity, shall we? I think we should. Now, if I go to my electricity, it automatically brings up the electricity info view. Or, well, kind of. The, the, the views that you get here aren't exactly the same as the info views, but they're pretty close. Now, you see this, um, this kind of whitish blue area that's around these buildings? When buildings zone in, they get like a catchment area for electricity. And I'm going to demonstrate this by putting in a wind turbine. Now, I could put in a coal power plant, but to be honest... It costs 19,000. We've only got 43,000 left, and we've got to, still got to put water in, which is also expensive. And we've got to put loads of, like, these power lines are expensive, guys. Like, look at that. That's like 800, almost, I mean, so you're spending almost 1,000 just to take power lines from there to there. And look at the side, I mean, that's just a little bit, right? These things are expensive. Don't overspend at the beginning of the game. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in a wind turbine. Now, this will bring up the wind info view. Okay, and you'll find that depending on where you put it, like that's eight megawatts of power if I put it there. But if I move it around, you'll find you'll, you'll probably find. Oh, see there, it's seven. So the max it can produce is eight. If we mouse over this, it'll tell us. Power output is um, is zero to eight megawatts. So we want to get the most out of these. So make sure that you're uh, you're up to eight. Now, one more thing. See the green circle in the centre? There is a bug. Now, I don't know whether this bug is going to be fixed by the time you get your version, but if you put this too close to these, um, to these dotted lines, it'll still be green, right? But if, if I put it there, if I placed it, it would go in, but I wouldn't then be able to click on it. So make sure that you put these ploppable buildings a little bit in from, from the edge of your map, okay? Right, so let's pop this in here. Um, about, 
there will do nicely. And you can see you get this blue catchment area. Okay. And that's where the, the, the electricity extends out to. Right? What we'll also do while we're over here is we're going to put in some water and some sewage. So this is, um, this is a, uh, a water pump for pumping in fresh water. So let's put one of these babies in. And again, I'm going to put it in in from these um, the, the, the edge markers. So let's put this in about there. Right? And then I'm going to put in a sewage outflow pipe. Now, I haven't, I've already looked at this map, so I know that my water um, flow is going down so you want to make sure obviously that you're pumping clean water from upstream and you're pumping your sewage in downstream so let's put this in again stay away from the edge put that in there right now we need to connect these up with pipes what we're going to do i'm going to run this this is a quite a good tip you want to stay about the same distance away from the edge so that when you place new um, new sewage outlets or new water pipes you can just plop them onto the existing pipe let me show you right if I run this up here and stay the same distance away from the edge about like that right if I want to plop a new one I can just plop it on that existing pipe you see right whereas if if I ran it outside or too close you, you wouldn't be able to do that and then you you've got to hook them up it's much easier if you do it like that little tip little tip I think so I'm going to run this along here. I'm going to try and stay pretty much as a, about the same distance away from the edge of the coast if I can. And then finally, boom, hook it up to that one. Right. Now, let's go back to our electricity view because we need to hook these up to the electricity. Now look, the catchment area has actually merged. So this is going to be getting electricity. right? But this one down here isn't going to be getting electricity so we need to hook up the catchment areas it's not hooking up the buildings it's hooking up these catchment areas so I'm going to play oh, let's try with a, with a cable um, so I'm going to place this anywhere inside this catchment area so we can plop it like there and then we can run these power cables but again I, if I'm going to put more in I want to make best use of it so I'm going to kind of follow the coast round like this and then I'm just going to hook it up to this area there. Right. Now, when we turn, you'll see when you first lay them, they're black. When they start carrying power, they'll turn white. You'll see that. Now, can you see over here that these buildings have sort of created a catchment area? If I'd zoned in like the whole area, right, you'd have these buildings would be more, more scattered, right? And they don't, they won't necessarily all connect up and you'll get some buildings that would be without power and then you have to run additional power cables around and it's more expensive so it's a good idea to zone one area hook up to that one area right and then it'll it's just a lot cheaper and it's a lot it's a lot nicer to look at because you don't have power cables running all over the place so we hook up to this what i then want to do is I want to zone in some residential over here because I want to take the power from this side up to the industrial. So if I plop in some residential round there, and I'll zone this bit in as well. There we go. Right, let's let this run. We'll switch back to our electricity view. Now, hopefully, if we... Oh, oh there's one. It's extended out. We want a building to plop somewhere out. Oh, there we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Let's pause that. And we'll just take our power lines from there up to here. Boom. Now, one thing I'll point out. If you run power lines across these, um, these zone squares, you lose those zone squares. And the power lines don't get like re automatically replaced by buildings. So you'll have these unsightly power lines running around. So be a little bit careful how you're, uh, how you're planning that out. Okay. So we've got electricity now. And if and you can see this has turned white, when I if I take this off pause, you'll see this will instantly turn white. Boom, because it's carrying power from there to there. If it stays black, then you're not hooked up correctly. Now let's do some water. So, water. Ha! <laughs> and I've got a tip for you guys, and I think this is a good one. Right? How do we get perfect coverage? I'm going to do this as a 60-second tip. I'm sure this will already be out as a 60-second tip. How do we get perfect coverage? Right? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to start up here in this corner, and I'm going to draw a line, uh, draw a pipe down here, 
So the, it, it, and I'm starting like so it, it just covers the edges. Right? And I'm going to draw it down here right now. I'm going to go down till it says 480, and then I'm good 480, right? And then I'm going to go back until it just switches to 440. Remember 440? Remember the whole 440 trick in SimCity? Oh yeah, we've got another one. So 440, boom, pop that in. Put in a little spur, okay? If I take a pipe out from there, run that across there. Uh, how far do I want to go? Actually, I only want to go out to about there. And then I extend this one. Look, absolutely perfect coverage. Boom. 440. That's all you got to remember. 440. You've got perfect pipes. So, go down here. 440. And you you want to... It, it, it does cover a bit of area. You want to go up to where the 480 is. Uh, bring it back to it just changes to 440. Right? Put in a little spur. And bring it down. 440. Little spur. 440. Come on, come on. 440. I'm going to try and make this series a mixture between like the aesthetics and uh, and min maxing, like usual, like usual. Probably probably a bit more min maxing in this series. Later on, we'll uh, we'll get into the all of the uh, aesthetics a bit more. But I uh, seriously, I've I'm kind of. I'm kind of already loving this. I've already got ideas of stuff that I want to build. It's a very cool game, guys. Very cool game. Right, let's um, take that across there. Right. Okay, that's um, that's far enough. Right, so I want to run this one out here. Just so that it covers that. Uh, that covers that bottom bit. That's fine. So I don't need to run the next one. Then take this. And look, perfect coverage. Absolutely perfect coverage. Boom. So this is very cheap, very efficient. We'll put that one in, and then I'm going to run one of them over to this side. So that's going to be my edge, like right about there. Then I'm just going to run this down. Come on, go straight, go straight. There, and then hook it up. Right, now we've got our pipes hooked up. So now we should have water and electricity to everywhere. Should we find out? Let's take it off pause, and we'll see what's going on. I would think that fresh water is basic stuff, but no! How long do we have to wait for our pipes? Well, you've got your pipes now. And now, they've all stopped complaining. Let's get rid of let's get rid of this blooming pop-up again. And close this down. Right, and now, all of those little flashing icons have gone away. Now, let's go and look at our profits. If we go down here, you can see... Um, this is our population number. We've got 165, 169, 172 population. That's climbing. And it, this tells you how much it's going up uh, by per week. So we're getting an extra 30, 35 a week at the moment coming in. This is our, um, this is our current back balance, and this is our profit figure, our weekly income or loss. And at the moment, we're losing 112, but that's going down, right? Less than 100 now, 90. As more people move in and start paying taxes, we'll hopefully get into a profit situation. We can start zoning more. We need industry. Big demand for industry. Let's zone in some more industry because we've only got a tiny bit zoned. And again, you want to you want to extend it kind of bit by bit so that the electricity net extends with it. So we can just zone in. That's probably enough for now. Right, we can zone in some more residential. Bring this down here. Bring this uh, across here, I think. There we go. And you just extend it like bit by bit. Um, we should start to get some more commercial demand soon. But you can see how little commercial you need for like masses of, uh, of residential. But that's at the start. As I said, this changes. These, these ratios change as you go through the game. As buildings level up and as densities increase, you'll find that you actually need more commercial for uh, to cope with your residential right we've catered for our industrial demand now people are demanding more residential because there are more jobs on offer so we'll continue to zone in this is all filling in nicely we'll extend this down here and again now here we go you need to be checking your info views like regularly we need more electricity because let, let's pause this for a second there are probably people complaining yeah look people are already complaining that they've got um, electricity blackouts because we don't have enough, en enough electricity now look I've got 8,800 this costs 6,000 okay so you can see how close to the wire I am I'm gonna put these pretty close together 
pop that in there. Boom. Cool. Get rid of that. I want to make sure that I can, yeah, I can click on these. If you put them too close to the edge, you won't be able to click on them. They'll still work and everything, but you just won't be able to click on them, which is pretty frustrating. But you can see, I'm now, I've now got 2,800, but I'm making a profit. I'm making f over 500 a week now. So things are working. We've got our basic little town started. Woohoo! And uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we'll, uh, we'll continue to zone this in. We'll continue to build up our population. We're about to hit our first milestone, in actual fact. And look, all of our demands are growing. Because people are happy, they've got water, they've got electricity. I'm going to bring this zone right across here now. And I'm going to pop in a little bit more commercial. Not very much. Just a little bit more commercial. And I'm going to zone a little bit more industrial over here. Just over here, like that. Now, our first milestone is at 550 population which we're going to hit very quickly. We're getting like 60-odd, 75 people coming. Oh, congratulations! We are officially a little hamlet. We've reached a population of 550. That unlocks. We can now change our tax rates. We can now get loans. We can put in garbage, healthcare, education. We've unlocked new buildings like the elementary school, the medical clinic, the landfill site. So um, there you go. That's our first achievement. Guys, we're going to leave it there. Come back for the next episode, and we're going to we're going to start putting in new services. We're going to expand our town. Oh, isn't it cool?